The purpose of this project was to convert a Federal Aviation Administration field-administered, instructor-led training course to computer-based instruction, or CBI. The course was created in order to update and standardize course content and to reduce student training travel time. The CD-ROM training materials provide air traffic control, or ATC, en route training as initial instruction for both the current en route certified professional air traffic controllers and the en route ATC trainees. The course covers 10 topic areas. C-squared combined information from original field administered stand-up training lesson plans and materials, as well as expertise shared during collaborative meetings with subject matter experts, in order to create the content for this CBI. The lessons were updated from the CD-ROM to include graphics and audio that represented the ATC environment concepts and procedures. By using meaningful interactions supported by graphics and text, students are provided with a more personalized and interactive learning experience of the ATC and root procedures. Each lesson contains a pretest and a post-test. The pretest is in the lesson introduction of every lesson. The pretest helps prepare students for the upcoming sections of the lesson and enables learners to gauge their prior knowledge of the subject. In the pretest, students can pick the correct answer to the questions, or if the students are unsure about their answers, they can click Unsure as their answer. The lesson summary contains the post-test. The post-test assesses how well students learn the material in that lesson. The graphic representations in this course are very realistic. There are several graphics that accurately depict different scenarios that the air traffic controller could be presented with. These are extremely helpful to the air traffic controller. They are able to see what a situation might really look like. There are also graphics that help the students see what they should do in particular situations. The photographs are very realistic and help students understand what they will be looking at when on the job. One of the most significant features in the course is the pilot and air traffic controller audio scenarios. These scenarios feature pixel people that play the roles of pilot and air traffic controller. The interaction presents simulated audio from pilots and air traffic controllers. Students are able to hear what the interactions actually sound like, so when they are presented with real interactions, they will know what to expect. Cessna 125, depart north, turn left, heading 180. Cessna 125, roger. Depart north, turning left to 180. Computer message composition is essential to air traffic control. This is the screen that air traffic control uses to enter and keep all the important information that needs to be seen at a moment's notice. The rules are always presented in the same way, in order for students to easily recognize them as rules and as being important. There are embedded questions throughout the lesson to help students gauge their learning progress. This course was developed for air traffic controllers with no ATC en route 100 training. The course is used as initial instruction for both current en route certified professional ATC and en route ATC trainees. Air traffic control trainees will now take a more standardized and interactive ATC en route course from their own work location rather than having to travel to learn the very same information.